I get energy uh, from mentoring uh, and it's the gratification of what I would consider to be servant leadership, humbling yourself to the enormous responsibility that uh, we're given as airmen leaders. And I think this is the uh, avenue in addition to everything that we're doing to train and equip our airmen, uh, mentoring and uh, sharing knowledge is uh, right up there with what it takes to be the Air Force that we need in the future. Uh, I think first of all, seeking out people who aren't like you, who don't think like you, and who come from a different background, but also seeking folks from different parts of the organization. It creates this 360 view uh, the self that I think is uh, really important to uh, holding yourself accountable to continuing to develop as a leader. I uh, consider myself to be extremely fortunate uh, in that uh, I entered the Air Force uh, as an aircraft maintainer. And as a young assertive company grade officer, uh, you know, I came in and my style and my tone probably needed to be tempered a little bit. And uh, only Chief Swanson uh, came by and pulled me aside and said, uh, Lieutenant, uh, you weren't your typical self today. And uh, let me uh, tell you how we received what you said. And that feedback uh, was really, really powerful uh, because he represented uh, all of the folks uh, in that room that day. And so that particular uh, incident uh, as a young officer uh, did wonders and I still remember it today as far as shaping me uh, into a better leader. The most rich discussions I've had with mentees have occurred when they've read my bio and they come in and they want to know all about my successes but I start also telling them that for each success, there are probably 10 missteps and failures. And I think that transparency from the mentor also uh, makes that conversation richer because you talk about the lessons learned from the failures and mistakes, as well as uh, what were the keys to the successes.